Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are good. So today I filmed this makeup look. I wanted to do a look that incorporated glitter, cut crease, and also a dark lip. So I threw all those three together and came up with this look right here. This is also a holiday or festive makeup look. You can wear this to your Christmas parties, your Christmas dinners, anything festive that you have going on this holiday season. I just did like a gold half cut crease with this nice vampy lip. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to give me some thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. And if I don't have a video out by Christmas, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. You know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. create this look, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. So I'm going to mix these two colors together right here. Okay, the next color I'm going to go in with is Realgar or Realgar. That bright orange color and I'm going to put that in my crease as well. Now I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and just blend out this harsh line right here in between my brow bone and crease. So now I'm going to go on with the color Red Ochre. Still using the same brush. And I'm just layering all these colors on top of each other. So we get like a nice little gradient effect. Now I'm going to take the clean blending brush again just to blend out this little harsh line right here. And then also I like to go in with the lighter shade to kind of further blend out the color, the crease. I'm going to take, what is this called? Golden ochre. I'm going to take a little bit of this on my blending brush to help further blend out this harsh line. I'm gonna go in with Cypress Umber and Red Ochre. So I'm gonna mix these two together and I'm gonna put this in my outer V. And I am using a smaller blending brush. This one is by Coastal Scent. I'm gonna put this right here in my outer V. And then I'm going to go back with the same brush I was using before just to blend out everything once more. Then this, uh, the clean blending brush to blend out any harsh lines. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with the way that is. Now we're going to go on and cut the crease. Or do a half cut crease. So what I'm going to use is my concealer. This is just my NYX HD concealer and a little um, small flat brush and we're going to cut the crease with this. And it also helps if you tilt your head back a little bit so you can see your actual crease. It's kind of hard to do when you're looking straight ahead so I'll kind of tilt my head back a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take some of my face powder to set this concealer because it's still kind of sticky. And I'm kind of keeping my head tilted because if I look up, it's going to transfer into my crease. So I'm keeping my head tilted and I'm going to take a little bit of my face powder and set this concealer. Now you see we have that harsh line where the cut crease stops and the rest of the shadow is. We're going to go in and blend that out. So I'm going to take the same two colors I was using, which is Cypress Umber and Red Ochre. And we're just going to kind of diffuse that harsh line. Now that that is done, I'm going to go in with the color Primavera and we're going to apply that all over the lid area where we cut the crease. Mm -hmm. 
Be sure not to take this color above the cut crease line because you don't want it to transfer. So once we have that gold color applied on the lid, I'm going to go back and diffuse these two colors once more. So now for the glitter, I'm going to first use my NYX glitter primer. And then the glitter that I'm using is from NYX as well. I just have a little sample of it, but it's the color, it's gold, just a gold glitter. looks something like that once the glitter is applied. Now we're going to go in and create our winged liner. I'm going to use my Kat Von D tattoo liner and also the Schwing liner from the Balm. So I'm going to quickly finish up the rest of my face. I didn't want to include it in this video because I didn't want it to be repetitive. It's like the same routine I've done in like all of my past videos. So I'm going to do my foundation, concealer, powder, and all that, and I'll be right back. And I'm also going to apply some lashes, and these lashes are by the brand Top Lash. This is what they look like. And I got these from AliExpress, I believe, or eBay. Um, I'll try to find the link and put them down below, but I'll be right back. Okay, so my foundation, concealer, powder, eyelashes are already on. I also already did a little bit of contouring slash bronzing. I used my NYX no filter powder. So I just did a little bit on my cheekbone, on my nose, and around my forehead area. Now we're going to move on to highlighting. I'm going to use my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Beaming Blush. And I'm just going to put this on my cheekbone area like this and this is a morphe m510 brush for blush i've been using this blush palette that i picked up at forever 21 and it's an all matte blush palette i'm going to use this shade right here and this one well this one right here and this one right here i'm just going to put that right in between my highlight and my contour area we're going to move back to the eyes i'm going to take this black eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna put this in my waterline. I'm gonna go back into the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Primavera, the same one that we put on our lid, and I'm gonna use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm also going to use that color to highlight my inner corners. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the color Cypress Umber and we're going to smoke that out on the bottom lash line. I'm going to take the shade Red Ochre on a fluffier blending brush and further smoke out the lower lash line. And then also I'm going to mix in a little bit of Realgar. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. For my lips, I'm first going to line them with Club Hopper Lip Liner from NYX. So I lined my lips and slightly filled them in a little bit. Now for the lipstick, I'm going to use Sin by MAC and I'm just going to apply this all over. 